people are bailing the first month because they're like, whoa, I can't do this. $100 for, and I'll even give you some metrics. I've been a member, one, two, three, either four or five months. So I'm either at 400 bucks or 500 bucks. I don't remember. I have pulled one, two, three, four, five, seven things out of the group that have made me in excess of 500 bucks. So right now, the group is free. That's how I look at it from a cost, opportunity cost basis versus, well, I didn't spend all this money and I don't have my million yet. Because I'm operating from truth. I'm operating from reality. And until you solve those two things, so it's all a scam. Or, well, if I get something, it must be affordable. It must be reasonable. It must be quick. Success does not work like that doesn't just doesn't we have a very interesting paradox a lot of stuff happened last week but in this video I'm gonna give you two reasons why you are not successful making money online yes two and they're huge unless you get past these two reasons you are never ever gonna make significant money online never gonna happen like I said if you continue to dwell in that space of having these outlandish expectations and to be clear it is an outlandish expectation to think that you're gonna become a millionaire from spending a little bit of time spending a little bit of money a little bit of time for you to become a millionaire, you're going to do one of two things. You're going to spend a lot of money or you're going to spend a crazy amount of time. Crazy amount. It can be done, but you certain things you're just going to forget, like hanging out, uh, having a family. Yeah, I said that. Certain things are just not going to happen for everybody. Yeah, very interesting stuff, right? Now, I've been listening to a lot of stuff been getting a lot of damn requests like hey would you invest in this company would you invest in that company and hey you know only need this I don't even know you from boo boo the fool but I have a lot of people asking me for money and I know why and it was a calculated risk I knew it could happen because for many years I just really didn't put myself out there. I just put, Kung hey, this is Glennon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Check it out. The first few links under the video, you have free 19 courses. Free 19 courses about business, life, improving your credit, handling your child support, even how to have a better relationship. Now, how does all of this tie in together? As an entrepreneur, all of these things can and usually touch upon your life. So this is a resource for you to manage all of those things to make your business game stronger. Now, once again, it's gonna be one of the first links under the video. Also, if you like the content of this video, if you like the content of the channel, if you like what you're getting out of these courses, I ask you to do two things. Recommend two people to the channel and pay what you want links below you can pay anywhere you can pay a dollar you can pay a thousand dollars you can pay 10 grand whatever you want you can pay it so with that let's get into the video out there put the courses out there now we're in the new thing where people are in a very touchy place it's tricky you want to make a lot of money online but you believe of most of the stuff that you see online is a scam it's like well this guy's just trying to get my money he's not out trying to help me question when you go to your job and someone said hey I want you to help me first before I pay you. You would be like, are you out of your damn mind? I came here to get paid. That's why I got this job I can't stand. But for some reason, people think those same metrics don't apply online. Like uh, uh, online is like Harry Potter's 
world or you know the magic kingdom or something essentially if someone's offering you something they want something that's normal that's real that's life but if you think this stuff is a scam number one reason that most people will not make significant money online is everything's a scam if this guy's doing this and let's be clear there's a lot of scams out there I, I see stuff every day I see people saying calling up business owners is easy I had a full-time job calling up decision makers is a very hard thing to do it's, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of skill so when I see that I'm like okay that's not true but with the way that people are going to that second thing first of all reason number one you're not gonna make a lot of money online is you think everything's a scam so from a context of you think most stuff's online is a scam part of you don't want to be part of that because you think it's bad so you're going out there this is a scam this is a scam there are people who have devoted whole websites to busting scams and not making money which is kind of strange then the other part is the reason number two anything that helps you it must be affordable it must be reasonably priced now once again when you go to buy a diamond for your future wife or you go out if you're a lady and you're buying diamond stud earrings you're looking for real shit unless you're that kind of person that rocks fake shit and there's a lot of people that rock fake stuff but if you're a person who values authenticity you're not looking for affordable you're looking for real you're looking for something special you're looking for something with a high degree of clarity now I'll go ahead and say Asians Asians as a group don't buy knockoff shit they just don't Asians uh, people in France a lot of immigrants as a rule now there are people who are Asian and the people from France who buy knockoffs but as a rule most of the time they like their stuff authentic I dealt with a lot of Asian customers I know what I'm talking about but you cannot have this context of something being affordable it's going to make you a lot of money how does that work and you know it, it's, the, it's those two reasons that keep people poor uh, keep people in the position of perpetual stasis just your pause button is always on you you just all you just you got to get out of your feelings you got to get out of your feelings and you have got to start looking at this objectively I'll take my course 30 days to 2500 bucks right it's free you can get it I'm not gonna charge you can go ahead and get it now the issue that most people have is it's hard it's very very hard to complete all of the task in 30 days very few people can do it that's reason number one reason number two there's a lot of things in 30 days 2500 that pull you out of your comfort zone hard out of your comfort zone you must <clears throat> be self-motivated there's no one like yeah do module two yeah do day three no you gotta do that on your own so you it's hard you're out of your <clears throat> your comfort zone you must self-motivate, self-regulate, put yourself on the schedule, and then go out there and talk to strangers and make some money. That is the reason that a lot of people fail at course or don't get max benefit because. Now, let's go ahead to, uh, we'll just say a website that's super slick. Uh, the owner is just like, hey, in six months, I made $100,000 from nothing. You can Google a person online, can't find shit out about him. Shit sold like hotcakes. Sold like hotcakes on the cold morning with warm maple syrup. People are like, oh, give me seconds, give me thirds. Because people are looking for easy, affordable. Fuck effective. Fuck effective. That that's just not, it's just not in the mix. So if you don't get past these two reasons, number one, everything on the internet is not a scam. I understand there are a lot of scams. I cannot marginalize that and say that's not true. There are a lot of scams. But number two, if you keep having a mindset that perpetuate 
the scams because this is the thing if you were operating from a real position you couldn't get scammed if you asked yourself hey because I've always asked a lot of money for my courses a lot of money the free thing is in the long-term experiment I like the results so I'm gonna keep doing it but I've always asked a lot of money for my courses and I've always asked a lot of money for my time and that's going up because the way that your mind is geared if it's cheap if it's fast if it's affordable it's not effective that's the way your mind is geared you may have not even put connected these dots together the way that I just connected them for you but you're looking at this stuff because you're looking for something I got people who've been on the email list for years I got people who've been subscribed to the channel for years who have never pulled the trigger because they're looking for something and that something that you're looking for is a guarantee which does not factor into outstanding extracurricular extraordinary out of this world success no one can guarantee you that level of success I don't put that out there I was like look if you do the work you'll be successful I can guarantee you if you do the work you will be successful to a degree and the reason I can say that is I know my shit works but once again there's some qualifiers to a degree you might be a shit bird you may have a poor work ethic you might be stupid I don't know how one plus one is mm, I think it's two it happens so that's part of it if you want to make money online you've got to get your mind right number one you got to operate from a position of honesty and truth if you're out there making nine fifty an hour how in the hell are you going to make a hundred thousand an hour unless you radically transform yourself and radically increase your skill sets it makes sense right right now I frequently say it's going to be a six month to two year journey from the time that you start, from the time that you get serious about this, for you to have an online business that can support you. Six months to two years or longer. That's the reality. And I say that, and people are like, oh, no, no, that's too long, it's too expensive. But you've bought maybe 15 20 courses at 30 at the, at the 39.99 or the 47 or the 97 and you're still in the same place at some point you're gonna have to stop looking for that quick and easy high and you're just gonna have to say you know what success takes time success takes effort and I'm gonna have to pick some I'm gonna have to stick to it and I'm gonna have to keep doing it until I get measurable results that's it that's it as long as you keep thinking that you can get success easy efficient quick and affordable you will be forever chasing these scams you'll forever be on scam alert or scam busters or a contributor of all these threads of yes it's a scam I don't go out and when I see someone that I know is not being honest I don't go out and create a page and I don't create a website and I don't do call out videos because honestly I don't give a fuck yeah I know that sounds harsh but I really don't because I think the onus is on you to do your due diligence to understand where you are to understand that more than likely the best that's ever going to be for you is a good side business that you are not built for entrepreneurship that you're not rough enough that you're not rugged enough to be a full-fledged entrepreneur you just don't have what it takes but you could build over a period of years a side business that makes a hundred grand or you build a side business that makes 150 200,000 a year over a period of years you can scale something like that up while you keep your day job and add more money to your family's income and actually create a better future for yourself and your family I honestly think after just talking to people literally getting on the phone and talking to people and hearing how the expectations are so radically far <laughs> are disconnected from reality 
it, it, it's crazy. This is so I'm, I'm telling it to you from someone who has started 12, I forget, 12, 15 businesses, but I will not forget the first five failed. They failed because I didn't know what I was doing. They failed because I was trying to figure it out. Uh, they failed because I had some crazy expectations and I just stuck with it longer than the average person. And then business number six made money. Business number seven made money. Business number eight, uh, I believe that was eight. The storage auction business was either eight or nine. I'm not sure. And then the storage auction business made money. Then the storage auction business made money. The publishing company made money. The YouTube channel made money. Uh, the consulting business made money. Everything after those five businesses that failed has made money. And the only reason that they have made money is I have stuck with them until I got to a point where it was like, okay, this is working. I didn't give up. But also, I was grounded in reality. After those first five businesses, I realized that a lot of the stuff, and this was way back when you would get Entrepreneur Magazine or a Success Magazine in the grocery store, and you would order one of these little bullshit courses or things for like for the for, for the thirty nine ninety nine out the back of the magazine, and you would get it, and you would see it was nothing but bullshit, nothing but bullshit. And I spent a lot of money on that stuff, but. I never gave up because I, I feel that spending the money on that bullshit was worth the money because it gave me an education in reality. You're not going to buy a course and this time next year be making a million dollars unless you spend a grip. Because one of the things that happens when people buy these upper level courses is they get affiliated. And what I mean is they become connected to some high level people. Let's just say um, one of my favorite people, Marie Folio, she has a high end coaching program. I believe it's 15, 25 grand. Now, once you take that course, not only did you take that course, you are in Marie's inner circle. You want her peeps. You get it, you probably get it. You know, I'm not one, I didn't take the course, but I'm gonna assume the way that Marie operates. And like I said, I respect her, I appreciate her, and I like how she does business. I think you're gonna get invited to events. Um, you're gonna get special perks, you're gonna get introduced to people you never ever would have met. So you're paying for her time, but really the connection to the inner circle is worth the money all by itself whether she talked to you anymore or not because that's what you're paying for because you're making those connections it's like oh i took marie's special coaching oh really well hey meet ed meet julie meet barbara all of a certain you're in this circle that you can't get to and nobody who has that kind of circle where you can talk to this person and immediately get on their list and make a hundred grand nobody's giving that away for free nor should they why would they it's like, hey, well, yeah, just come on in and I'm going to let you use my list. Oh, no, I'm not going to charge you. I'm just going to be your best friend, your best pal. Oh, yeah, I'll let everyone do that. Because see what would happen if a person was doing that and they were not vetting the people that they sent out on their list, their list would just like, boom, get smaller and smaller from all the bullshit offers. So be careful and be real and be honest with yourself. Do you really want an online business or are you just trying to escape broke? There is a huge differential in those two things. If you, and I'm gonna give you a litmus test. If you working for yourself meant that from now on, forever and ever, say there was this big universal wish genie. Yeah, the universal genie, and the genie said, I can give you this wish that, but you, you know, you'll be self-employed, but you can only make $45,000 a year, but you'll have total control of your life, you'll have total freedom, and it's yours. And if you pause, you are not cut out to be an entrepreneur because you're doing it for the wrong reasons. If you pause, if you're like, oh, fuck that, you you don't have it because what entrepreneurs are doing is to be better than they were the day before, to build something that didn't exist, to take on impossible odds. That's, that's not you, boo. It's just not you. Now, if you answer that, if that, you know, that, that's just not your thing, be honest about that. Uh, be real about that because there's nothing wrong with having a good side business. There, there's nothing wrong with 
uh, understanding that you are not psychologically orientated to be an entrepreneur. That's nothing wrong with that. But once again, this is coming from me talking to you, getting on the phone, talking to people, asking a lot of intimate questions, and just understanding how afraid people are, how scared people are to take that risk that is necessary for you to achieve outstanding rewards. There is no such thing as low risk and high reward. High risk, high reward. Higher risk, higher reward. High risk, higher failure. Higher risk, higher failure. That's how the game is played. So if you're not taking big bets, don't expect to get the big payout. It makes no sense. So if you're gonna buy a $25 course, or you're gonna buy a $39 course, or you know, you, they're gonna help you, but they're gonna keep you at maybe 50 to 100 grand. That's where you're gonna stay with that kind of activity. Uh, how do I know I've taken, I've taken these courses? That's where you're gonna stay. So when you start scaling up, and if it's a good course, you know, not a bullshit course, and you spend 2,000, then, you know, that's half a mil. That's gonna get you to the half million level if you apply the stuff. And then when you start spending 10, 15, 25,000, 50,000, that's gonna get you into the seven figure club, not just because you spent the money, but because of the affiliation. Because if someone who's like uh, Jay Abraham, I think, I don't know if he still does it, it's 25,000, maybe 50 grand, something like that. You're in Jay Abraham's inner circle, and if you're a good student, he's gonna connect you with other people. So, and everyone on that level is like making seven, eight figures. That's how you're gonna get connected. That's kind of like a buy up. You buy in, you perform, you ingratiate yourself, and then you're exposed to all these things that you just can't get exposed to on the $39.99 level, the $50 level, the it's just, it's not, it's just not happening. It's just not happening. I'm a member of a mastermind group and it's a hundred bucks. And every month I see the churn. Sometimes, you know, it'll get up to 1,800 members, but always when it's time to pay those bills, you'll see it come, I mean, it'll drop 300 people. It'll go up, it'll, it'll drop back to 15. It, I see this every month. It's $100 a month and people are bailing the first month because they're like, whoa, I can't do this. $100 for, and I, I'll even give you some metrics. I've been a member, one, two, three, either four or five months. So I'm either at 400 bucks or 500 bucks, I don't remember. I have pulled one, two, three, four, five, seven things out of the group that have made me in excess of 500 bucks. So right now, the group is free. That's how I look at it from a cost, opportunity cost basis versus, well, I didn't spend all this money and I don't have my million yet. Because I'm operating from truth. I'm operating from reality. And until you solve those two things, of, it's all a scam. Or, well, if I get something, it must be affordable. It must be reasonable. It must be quick. Success does not work like that. Doesn't. Just doesn't. Let that shit go. Because, hold on. I'll be right back. Like I said, if you continue to dwell in that space of having these outlandish expectations, and to be clear, it is an outlandish expectation to think that you're gonna become a millionaire from spending a little bit of time, spending a little bit of money, a little bit of time. For you to become a millionaire, you're gonna do one of two things. You're gonna spend a lot of money, or you're gonna spend a crazy amount of time crazy amount it can be done but you certain things you're just gonna forget like hanging out uh, having a family yeah I said that certain things are just not going to happen for everybody who are on that path but if you continue to stay in that space of low expectation all your trees are gonna bear low results and one of the things and like I said before there are a lot of scams out there, but if you're operating from reality, if you're operating from truth, if you understand the principle, you don't know what you don't know, that is a big thing that is killing people. 
many folks don't know what they don't know and they're not really interested in learning there are methodologies and things that you can make a lot of money online if you're affiliated if you're partnering up with the right people and they trust you it's out there uh, Amy Porterfield Amy Porterfield she's gone on record several times she is very careful with affiliates because she's like I don't know them and they don't know me she's very careful with her reputation and I know exactly why because there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens with affiliates one of the reasons uh, you know going back a few maybe a year two years ago uh, people wanted me to come on shows and you know the shows were reseller centric shows and I made a decision two years ago I'm out I'm never gonna buy storage units again I'm never gonna do this stuff I'm never gonna do Amazon again I'm never gonna do eBay again there is no point for me to keep dwelling in this space because I'm saying hey I'm not gonna do this then I keep showing up at these spaces and people are like well he said he's not doing it but he keeps hanging out here that makes no sense that's like being on the corner at 1 a.m. Friday night with a bunch of hoes and being mad and someone comes up and say how much baby and people do that shit all the time it's like well yeah just cuz I'm out here by the hoes and just cuz I got on this uh, micro this mini micro mini dress and because my titties are all out and I got my hair teased up and all this makeup and I like got 105 condoms but that does not make me a hoe it does not respect me <laughs> I mean, it's foolish, but people do that. People do that. So that, that's all I got for you. Just make sure that you start working on those two reasons that will keep you from really achieving any kind of success in any area in your life. Now, also, once again, if you like the content of this channel, and you should. If you like the free courses, and you should. And if you just feel that you're getting great value out of this, recommend all of the above the channel the free courses to two friends and if you if you're getting value if you're getting value I ask that you pay what you want it's uh, very simple now it's just a blank page and you can put anywhere anything in there for five bucks up to ten grand or hundred grand whatever you want to do so it is truly pay what you want uh, PayPal has this new feature where you don't have to have all of this the, you don't have to have these levels. Now it can be truly whatever you feel like giving. And I think that's really cool. So, now, if you want to know more, when you get the free courses, there'll be some emails coming to you about Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo.com. Alright, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next video.